in the last 500 years, black people in this area of the world, we can say that there's no such thing as black culture. What there is is what the system of racism, white supremacy, programs black people to do. You see, in other words, if the system of racism, white supremacy says, you are not going to be scientists. You are not going to be highly functioning doctors and lawyers and teachers. You are not going to have stable family life. You are not going to respect sex. Now, your role is to entertain me so you can jump up and down and sing you can dance, and yes, you're good at sports. You can do that in some, in some venues. That's what I'm going to allow you to do. I'm not going to allow you to have stable communities because if you have a Tulsa, Oklahoma, I'm going to burn that down. If you think you're going to stabilize a so-called middle-class community and you're going to have a home that's mortgaged, I'm going to see that those mortgages are foreclosed so that you can be into family dissolution, place of living dis dissolved. So what we can say is that we have an imposed culture under the power dynamics of racism, white supremacy. See, I can see right now in my mind the picture of Beyonce with her legs wide open at the Super Bowl for last year. It was so appalling to me I can't get it out of my mind in terms of what has been done to us. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we would be wiser. No, we are trying to get ourselves to the point where we can establish what we would then call black culture. But we will no longer be victims of a system of racism and white supremacy. So once the re system of racism and white supremacy has been replace with a system of justice, that's when we will start talking about our culture. That's when we will begin talking about who we really are as black people. 